Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com, and I'm just gathering up a few things I'm going to show you before we get started today. So give me a shout if you're here. Let me know that you're joining me live, and of course, if you're watching the replay, I would love for you to comment with replay. I'm going to grab my computer to make sure I'm seeing what you're seeing and that we are all good. You know, I have done like half a Facebook Live where half my stuff wasn't in the camera range. So I have, you know, there is an importance in making sure that everything is visible. I hope you are having a fabulous week. We are having a bit of rain today, which is always good. Um, I don't live in a climate where we have an abundance of rain. We always need rain. So anytime there's rain, we are, yeah, elated, happy. So we are having a bit of rain today, and mm -hmm. it's a good thing. Hey, Diana, I am glad you are here. Welcome, Betty. I'm so glad to see you. I'm going to do a little bit of show and tell before we get started. And a little bit, so this is actually review. So this was Tuesday of this week. Hello, Debbie from Vermont. Welcome, welcome. This is what we did earlier in the week on Tuesday. So we were playing with this very fun cottage wreaths and we were just making Halloween wreaths. It was just a lot of fun. I still have some of my bits and pieces here because I just punched a bunch of stuff and then we just kind of laid them out, played with them and enjoyed things. Hey, Barbara, I'm glad you're here as well from Oregon. So we are a global community, right? Because we have already, we have uh, Betty's here from Canada. We have some ladies here from the US. And of course, we do have markets in Europe and um, the South Pacific and Australia. But of course, right now, they're probably in bed. At least I know Europe is. Um, yeah, Europe is, Europe is in bed. Hey, Pam, I'm glad you're here. We're going to do FaceTime with our kids that are in England and our grandkids on Saturday. And morning for us is a good time because it's afternoon for them. The grandkids haven't gone to bed yet, so it's a good thing. Time zones. Ah, uh, yes, they're fun. Hey, Linda, I'm glad you are here as well. Okay, so this is where we were on Tuesday with our fun Halloween wreath cards. Let me show you a couple of other things by way of show and tell. I thought this was a lovely card. This is our vanilla note cards, and this is layered up with the um, deckled rectangles, which have been enormously, enormously popular. Hey, Dudley, I'm glad you're here. And this was actually from Emma, which is uh, the DDM, um, Demonstrator Development Manager in the South Pacific. And um, she was the, uh, well, she helped me. Uh, I was one of the presenters for a session. And so this was what she gave me to thank me, and I thought this was so cool. Let me grab this and show you. Yes, I did hear about the queen, Debbie. Um, and I actually, saddens my heart a great deal. I wasn't going to um, get into news too much because that doesn't interest some people. I thought this was so cool. This is, he's, this is the All That Dies, which is part of the He's the Man suite. But honestly, these dies, even if you don't, use like masculine or you don't want the stamp set. To me, these dies stand beautifully alone. I mean, some great label dies. Um, this is, I, I love the way she used that. So um, yeah, Debbie going back to the queen saddens my heart a lot. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of the world that ha doesn't remember a time when there was a king of England, only a queen. And um, she kind of embodied grace and elegance and just the heart of a grandma. So so this I thought was a really cool card. I wanted to show you that. The other thing I wanted to show you was a really cool gift that I got from one of my friends. This is from Lori Hiling. And I thought this was so cute and so clever. So this is a pen from Starbucks. I don't know. Where, you must have to go to their store. Super cute. And then she made this little notebook. Now, these are the um, Better Than Chocolate uh, stamps and dies that she added to, um, to this adorable little, isn't that a cute little, that was the gift. Isn't that a cute little gift? 
So, um, hey, Kay, I'm glad you are here. Thank you so much for sharing my video. That helps me tremendously. The other thing I wanted to mention is if you are in the area, I do have my fall retreat coming up. And we do have a few spaces available. This is October 21 through 23. I do have retreat to, in a box. So retreat in a box is a huge, um, you get everything you get if you were coming to my retreat. That's all the PDF tutorials for the make and takes. You get a $50 goodie bag, an exclusive retreat bag. We actually also have four add-on classes and you get the PDF tutorials for all of those as well. Um, there's five pillow gifts. There's a lot to love in the Retreat in a Box. So Retreat in a Box is available uh, for those of you who are not close enough to come to us in San Antonio. There's also a few spots for our first in a long time Saturday only. So you can come from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And uh, that is on the Saturday. So just a mention about Creative Escape. Okay, let's stamp. Now, today is our simple and stepped up. And I'm gonna feature a couple of things, as promised, that are in the weekly deals. So all through September, we have these weekly deals going. And that is where a selection of products is reduced. And there's, I think last week, I think there were about 10 items. So this is one of the items that is reduced. And aren't they lovely? These are Memories and More cards and envelopes. So these are the texture chic. You get, hmm, I think there's 20 in here, cards and envelopes. Look at how pretty the, the envelopes are. So you have this gold hashtag, and then look at the inside, how pretty. So we are going to do a simple and a stepped up card with these. Now I just posted the weekly deal on this. I think they were $10 and they're down to eight maybe. $10, they're a great bargain, but at eight they're even better. So I thought, well, let me show you some things to do with these because, you know, they call us our title or our designation within Stampin' Up is we are Stampin' Up demonstrators. We're not consultants. We're not reps. We're demonstrators. And I love that because, you know, our products in reality, they kind of need some demonstration. You might look at this in the catalog and go, yeah, but if you see it demonstrated, it really comes to life. Okay, thank you so much for sharing my video. And welcome, Jeanette, long time no see. <laughs> Jeanette was actually working in my studio earlier today. So I appreciate her help so much. I have some studio helpers who come every week to uh, work with me to get classes and make and takes out the door in a timely fashion. And I so appreciate their help. I could not work at the level that I do without their help. Okay, so this is the card and the envelope. We're gonna do one of each, simple and stepped up. Now, the hashtag simple stamping this month is, let me grab my stamp set. Stamps, ink, paper, and thinking of you. Now, I've pulled out botanical layers, beautiful stamp set. Um, look at all of these fun leaf and little tiny flower stamps. And then you've got three really excellent greetings. You mean the world to me. Thank you for everything and thinking of you. Now this is going to tie in with the challenge I'm working on, but I love, I think putting thinking of you and then putting either of these on the inside would work or you could do, you know, mix and match. Lots of fun things. Now, because of the time of year it is, I wanna go with a little bit more of a fall palette. So let's see. some grid paper underneath me. This is vinyl, but I this will help me to clean up quicker when I'm done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I have made a couple of hmm, three, I think these are three by four and a half pieces of basic white cardstock, and I'm just going to layer this right on here. But of course, we're gonna stamp it first and we're basically gonna make like a piece of background paper. Now I have a color palette. I'm going to start with my strongest color, which is soft suede. And then I'm gonna fill in with the medium and then the lightest color last. Cause I find that when you're building, um, you know, kind of a background or your own paper, that's the easiest way to do it. Hey Lisa, I'm glad you're here. Now I just re-inked this pad. 
Ooh, right before I came on camera, living dangerously. Well, let's just go for it. Okay, so here's this big, biggest leaf. This is gonna be the boldest leaf, and it is also the strongest color that I have chosen for my kind of kind of uh, fallish type colors, but not too, too, I'm not doing, you know, like full on oranges and reds, just kind of going with some brown. Soft suede is an excellent brown, kind of a medium brown. Because I've just re-inked this, it's coming out pretty dark, but that's okay. It will, yeah, yeah, I just got a halo. That's because Candy is too heavy handed with her stamps. So if you get that halo, it's because you are heavy handed with your stamps and you're rocking your stamp a little bit. So thankfully, there are two sides to basic white cardstock and it's strong enough that, um, or I should say thick enough that I can just flip it over and use the other side. Now I am going to strategically go ahead and clean this so that I don't drop something into an inky stamp. Now, I'm gonna put that aside because I'm gonna use that again for my greeting. Now, let's build our, I'm going to go with, I'm gonna go with, the, I really like this one. And I'm gonna use, hmm, yeah, I'm gonna go with soft succulent. And let's add a little bit of a soft green. So these are, you know, more, more tropical type leaves, but I, they can come in with a more fall color palette. But I don't, I mean, we're still in the very beginning of September. We are still actually in summer. Feels like summer here in San Antonio. And so I don't want to rush. I will say fall is my favorite time of year and it's also my favorite images. So, but I, I try to not rush myself because I find this about Christmas too. Christmas is my favorite holiday. And again, I love all the images of Christmas. I love all the meaning of Christmas. I love the foods of Christmas. But if I start doing Christmas too early, yeah, by the time it gets here, I really have kind of burned myself out on Christmas. So I try to pace myself and try to enjoy each season and um, each one has its charms. Okay, so there's my soft suede and there is my soft succulent. Now we are going to add in, wait for it, petal pink. Of course we are. <laughs> Now, Petal Pink, for those of you who are new to my channel, um, is my absolute favorite Stampin' Up! color. And, of course, Petal Pink is also in this um, kind of background of this te uh, textured chic. I think that's the name of this. Wow, this is a really inky. I really got this inky, inky, inky. So, you can see how you can just pick up that mat and dig into all those little places with your chamois so that it gets nice and clean. And I don't even have too much ink on my fingers at this point. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with this kind of this really pretty image that has these little tiny flowers on it. And this one I'm going to do in petal pink, which is actually a peachy pink, a very peachy pink, has a lot of peach in it. So I actually file my scraps in the orange when they are petal pink. So you see how that's bringing just kind of a, whoopsie, I'm getting it all over myself. Some little pops of color, not true fall, but kind of going in that direction. So let's go here. And you can see how when you start with your strongest color and then go medium and then go light last, you can really build your colors in a way that is pleasing. I think it's the easiest way to build. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. So now what I'm going to do is clean this stamp. I'm doing so well. I'm actually really proud of myself because I tend to just stamp and then leave everything out and then have a right mess when I'm done. Okay. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually layer this onto a little piece of soft suede to give it a frame and look at there. I'm gonna turn this over because I've got all that ink and it's gonna distract my eye. It doesn't take much to distract my eye. But yes, that's going to distract my eye. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I like it offset. I think we are going to offset that. And is there adhesive over here? Of course not, because Candy doesn't put many things away, as I said. Okay, so let's go ahead and this is a stamps ink and paper. This is a hashtag simple stamping card and the simple stamping challenge that Stampin' Up! has put out for us for the month of September is Stamps Ink Paper and Thinking of You. So I do like this offset. Thank you so much for sharing, Betty. That helps me. Helps me tremendously. It helps the uh, Facebook all the Facebook people. Now, I want to put my thinking of you in here. And my initial thought is to take a little strip of soft succulent and stamp on there. And let's see how we go. That's my thought. So let's see if it works. And then we're going to step it up for our second card. But I think, you know, I, what I love about these Memories and More Texture Sheet cards, they really give you a lovely backdrop, really great for simple stamping, really good for new stampers, really good for anybody, I think. And you know what? I could probably even use one of these. Okay, but you know what? I think we just might use this whole thing, or at least the better part of it. So let's start with our Thinking of You. Let's start with this down here. Oh yeah. Now, what I think is, let me clean this. I'm gonna add one of those little tiny flowers. I think that might really be really cute on my tag. So let's pop this back in here, because I don't think I need that again. And let's just do that sweet little flower. It's almost like a little flower head. So let's try that. Oh, I like it. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's just a very light, it's just a very light little flower. So let's close that up and let's flag the end. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna tear the end. I think that's gonna be even better. It just kind of goes with this whole chic, the whole texture chic thing. Now I could bring it down here, but I think honestly, I kind of like it in the middle. Okay, let's get a couple of dimensionals. And then th that is a wrap for my simple stamping card. And then we're gonna move on to our stepped up. Let's see what we can do to just gussy up this card. Get it a little bit more, give it a little bit more oomph. Okay. Thinking of you, now look at there. So that when somebody opens this, look how pretty. Isn't that a lovely? Thinking of you, quick and easy. If you're doing a get together with some friends, it's a quick, easy card. And thinking of you, yeah, you can go with a lot, you can go with a lot of direction there. Okay, now we have another piece that we've already stamped. And I have somewhere here with all my goodies. Let's see, I have some things that we were going to play with, if I can lay my hand to them. I've already cut out my thinking of you with a die. Um, I don't know if you have these dies yet. This is the mini pocket envelope, and I confess I haven't even made the envelope yet because I've been busy playing with these little tags that are awesome. Uh, but the, the envelope is coming. Now, where did my piece of rose gold foil go? Rose gold foil is another one of those items in our sale this week. And I pre-cut a piece. If anybody sees it, let me know. <laughs> it was here a minute ago. Okay, where did you go? 
Well, while I'm looking for that, we will think about some ribbon and some bling because I did want to step up this card, not just with a die cut, but maybe with some other elements too. So let's see what we can find while I'm tidying up, which usually, usually brings whatever I'm looking for to light. So far, still no. Hmm. If anybody sees it underneath something, give me a holler. Shout out. Here is some more show and tell that I might have time to show you. Well, phooey. The rose gold paper is really gorgeous with this. And I'm just not finding it for some reason. Let's see. Is it underneath? Nope. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, candy rat tray. What am I going to do with Ay. Okay, let's look at what we can do on by way of some ribbon. We could add, this ribbon is on sale, and that's lovely. Might be a little bit, oh, I, oh, I kind of like that. That We could do something like that. I like that. So there's the soft succulent satin ribbon. Now, this is picking up the petal pink. Yeah. I think it's okay, but there's already a lot of petal pink in the background. I don't like this as much. So let's put that in my little basket of tricks over here. Now the other one I thought, and of course I was gonna have this piece of rose gold under here. Is it under here? I pre-cut a piece of rose gold. Let me just grab another piece. This is also, this rose gold ribbon is really cool. And I thought that might be another nice little piece. Well, okay, let's just grab that foil paper because it's out. Okay, so this is another item that's in the sale this week. This is called rose gold paper. But to me, you see how much it's like petal pink? It's more orange than rose. It's very soup has a mirror like finish. And so it's, um, don't get fooled by the name Rose because I really don't think that it's got nearly as much to do with Rose as it does. It almost reminds me, I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago, we had some, we had some foil paper that was called Grapefruit Grove and it was super shiny like this. And it reminds me of that. This is definitely more. Um, this is definitely more on the um, on the orange side than the pink side. So let's see if that works. Is that right? Huh, look at there. You see how much that lifts that. You see how that brings you that little bit of shine. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, so I know I'm going to stick this down. And then we'll think about ribbon, and then that is a wrap for today. We'll have a simple and a stepped-up card using the textured chic, note, uh, not note cards and envelopes, memories and more cards and envelopes. I like this a lot. And then I think we just might go with this. I wasn't thinking we would, but I kind of like that. What do we think? Is that too much? Is that too much of the soft succulent? We could also go with no ribbon. There's the rose gold that picks up a little bit of shine here, and I kind of like that. I kind of like it. What do you think, ladies? And then I had one more option here. Oh, yeah, this petal pink, I think it was just too, I think that was too much of a good thing. Actually, once you get that rose gold going, I, I that might be the winner. Okay, I think, yeah, you love the rose gold. Okay, then I think that's what I'm going to do. It's also one of those things that you look at in the catalog and it doesn't show itself properly. So this is why I know that um, some of y'all do the um, ribbon uh, paper parties that I do. And um, the paper parties, you know, when you get a little bit of the ribbon and you get a little bit of the papers, you really get to experience it all. Oh, I think that was a great call, Betty. I like that little bit of shine. Isn't that pretty? I love it, and I think I'm going to do it over here, and I think I'm going to tuck it under. Although I could just do it like that. Yeah, we're going to tuck it under. 
Okay, so let's give this, let's see, a little bit like so. It's not gonna be too thick because, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna wrap this around and then we're gonna pop it up on dimensionals and give it a little bit more presence. And I do like the ribbon kind of off to one side. I don't want things to be too matchy matchy. Uh, now Laurie likes the petal pink. Rose, I've got two votes for rose gold and two votes for petal pink. I think honestly, they're both really pretty. Okay, so we're gonna go with this for now. And actually, I think we will do that flat and that's gonna go right there. And then we're gonna add just a tiny bit of bling and that is a wrap. I like this. So again, these are, I've got two or three items here that are in the sale for this week. Those things just got released today. So you have a week to take advantage of these savings. So these textured, uh, textured chic memories and more cards and envelopes, they are on sale. As is this rose gold paper. So let's, let's give these items some love. Now I need some mini dimensionals. get some of these, oopsie, let's get some of these minis. Let's use that one because it's chomped up a little bit. And let's go here. And let's go here. If I think if I go, I try not to put dimensionals on top of a ribbon because there's already, it's already raised a bit there. And sometimes they don't stick well to ribbon. So I try to kind of straddle the ribbon and I find that that is effective. Okay, so there is my thinking of you. I'm gonna still go in the center like we did on the first one. I like that a lot. And then we're gonna do one more thing. I think we're gonna add some of these soft succulent gems. These are actually not gems, these are the opal rounds and I really love them. Um, yeah, that's too, this is pale papaya, but it's very yellowy. So I think if we go with some of these, flip this around. I think it'll do better on these. Just a little bit, just a little bit of extra shine. Then I think we will be there. Let's see if I can, haha. -ha. Now, is that a big, is that one? Ah, you're running away from me. I think we're gonna put that one there. Oh yeah, kind of draw the eye down a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna add a couple more of these because I can. I'm gonna put one right there. And then I want one more because I need an uneven number. So I've got one, two, three, four, let's do five right here. So it's kind of raining with opal rounds. Oh, I'm glad you like them. And now, Betty, you already have this set coming your way. You know, I think that one of the great things about a set like Botanical Layers is it's really for all year round. It's not just for one time of the year. Um, these, I'm really happy with the way these turned out. So this is simple and this is stepped up. And again, I'm using these Memories and More cards and envelopes. Look how pretty that envelope is. I mean, all I have to do is write an address on there and it's ready to go. And this one, you see how that rose gold, it, it all just kind of blends together. And I think it's really special and really lovely. So these are on sale. This rose gold paper is also on sale. Now this item we didn't use today, but it is also in the sale. And I actually used this. Hmm. Should I show you that really quick? Yeah, let me show you really quick. This is my um, September Christmas card class is actually going out in the mail today and tomorrow. And I'm just gonna briefly show you these cards. Some of you already seen these, some of you took this class. But just to plug this soft succulent ribbon because there is just a lot to love with it. So whether you're doing it as a ribbon here, whether you're doing, or a bow, or whether you're doing it as a layer, 
it ties absolutely beautifully. This one, I just used a little, a little piece of it. And then these, I didn't actually use it. But that soft succulent ribbon has just a lot of great ways to use it. So I wanted to kind of plant that little seed of thought in your mind that if you are placing an order that you're going to want to add that soft succulent ribbon. So I did stick my host code in my post. I don't have it in front of me at the moment, but if you would like to shop with me, I'd appreciate that. If you go to shopwithcandy.com, you can get any of these items and some of them you will actually save some money on. So I will post these photos of these and I'll download this video to YouTube. I sure appreciate you being here with me today and uh, I will be back with you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. In the meantime, take care and God bless.